Hello everyone, I've got my cup of tea and let's jump in to another 30 inks, 30 days, day nine. This was yesterday, tonal and limbs, E equals MC squared. I really like it. It's so, I re just really like it as a colour. Um, you got some, I think, depending on the pen, you could get some quite nice shading, a really kind of nice... I don't know, I think yesterday I said black halo, but there is definitely some sheen there. It's almost like a, a muddy sheen, um, which I, I really enjoy. So, new day, new colour, right? Um, I, I know definitely for the last few videos, and I'm going to ramble while I um, choose an ink, I haven't spoken too much about stuff that's, I guess, going on in general. Um, just kind of talking about ink. It's been a really hard probably month or so. What's that one? Ooh, Weringal Scarecrow. This is another one from Pen Friend Abby. There are still ones from Pen Friend G in there, um, but so excited to give that a go. I think it's a brown. I think. Maybe it's like a greeny brown. I don't wear instead of speculating. Swatch and, and see. Um, yeah, it's been a really tough month. Um, my work, I think, I don't know when I said a little while ago, I changed, not changed jobs. I, um, I moved up into a, a more senior position and in a different office, but still the same role as a whole, which has been amazing. I have such an incredible manager that like I'm supervising some staff now and they're incredible. That whole thing has been the best circuit breaker and challenge and everything that I and I needed, you know, and I say challenge in a good way. These last two weeks specifically, I've actually um, I've had to travel interstate twice in 10 days for work um, and I work in child welfare, so when we're travelling interstate, it means something pretty urgent's happened. Um, you're not getting breaks you're not getting proper night's sleep or anything like that and that's just been a challenge that the physical hours I've been there the whole what I was doing over um interstate was was quite traumatic and then just the mum guilt um and I am pretty sure that I've spoken about mum guilt before on one or many of these videos but like far out it's um it's pretty full on, isn't it? It's it's both this visible and an invisible weight because you do know it's there, but then at the same time it creeps up on you. I think I missed oh yeah, I was away for a few days, so I missed like four bedtimes or five bedtimes and you know, was trying to FaceTime and it um and I wasn't like even sometimes when I was in Melbourne, I was then having to work so late after the interstate that I missed bedtime. It's just been a really intense couple of weeks. Um and even as I can digest and and work through the work related intensity, that mum guilt of oh man have I have I been a crappy parent throughout this and a crappy wife that sits there as well. Um, and I don't, I, mum guilt always interests me because when I can see it in friends or colleagues, I can be so rational about it and objective and really trying to help those friends or colleagues guide themselves out of it. Like this is not, you know, not a thing. But then when it happens to yourself, you just don't have that that superpower of support you can give to other mums. We very rarely are able to give to ourselves, aren't we? So that's my ramble of where my head's at at the moment. This is a really cool ink. I think it completely fits the idea of Scarecrow uh, in that greeny brown uh, colour family, which is really nice. Hints of yellow in there, almost hints of gold. I think it's a really lovely ink. Um, just staring at it while I was rambling there. So let's see what it writes like. Ooh. Um, I want to re-dip because I'm actually wondering if it's a touch dry. But it could have just been that I didn't have enough on. It might be... It's definitely not a wet ink. To call it a dry ink would be unfair just based on this Pilot nib, but it's definitely not a, a wet ink. I think if right in the middle 
you know, it was neither wet nor dry and this side was dry, it would just be like there. Like there's just something about it. I can feel it on the page a touch more than, uh, sorry, on the nib than other inks. Just something to, I guess, um, think about. But let's see what it's like then on the medium. How did I mess that up? This, this. Oh, because I'm writing down here, aren't I? What? Okay, it definitely feels nicer on the medium nib. I have to say, I think that finally this medium nib is starting to like me. It's almost like I had to wear it in a bit because for the first few months we really, really did not get along. Um, but I think it's starting, yeah, starting to be happy because I'm enjoying writing with it more and more. So definitely felt nicer on the medium. Just looking, if you can see that one where it's still wet versus up here, you can see that it goes down green and then dries more towards that goldy, mustardy brown, um, which is nice, a, a bit of a subtle colour shift while things are drying are always cool. I messed, I don't know how I've messed this up, but I have. Oh well. You think I could be universal? I've only done like half a book of these and I still mess it up. But I've just noticed, can you see on the flip side of yesterday's ink, E equals MC squared, what's bled through is like this real fluoro green, which is so cool. Wow. Um, for those who do chromatography and have a sample, sample of E equals MC squared, please do one. So we'll go and do our little measuring cup swatch, but this is Warringal Scarecrow part of the Wizard of Oz series. I haven't tried any of the others. I'm going to call it a green brown, brown ink, beautiful sheen and halo popping up. It goes down green and dries into this browny, uh, mustardy colour. You can still see the green within there though. Really, really beautiful. Felt nicer on the medium. So when more, I guess, contact was being able to make with the page, it felt a touch dry in that fine nib. Gorgeous. Let's do our little our little swirl for the day. I think one of my favourite things about that Hobonichi notebook is that it lays flat. It's something I really miss about Stalogy notebooks, actually. What are we thinking? Should we do a little guy in here? Let's do that. I didn't it? Oh, that was a bit silly. That was me putting ink a bit too viciously back into that vial. I wonder if it's um if the tono and limbs has bled through on this one as well to see if that flora has come through. I'll have a look after this. So what did I say? I didn't say anything. This is Wearingle Scarecrow. A really, really cool ink. I do really like that. So I'll bring that up close for you there. And I wonder, let's check about that one. A little bit. So interesting. So, so interesting. Awesome. So there was a little bit of a life update for you. I try when I can do 30 inks, 30 days, not to go crazy life updatey because they are, you know, shorter videos and I'm not wanting to like, I don't know, trauma transference or whatever um but yeah that's it for today um oh i just like it i'm so interested in this fluoro bit i'm trying to think i've said that's it for today and now i'm thinking about inks it reminds me of it's definitely in that gold antiqua katie was a brown green maybe you know who it's in that family isn't it but look at where that's pulled how it's breaking up and you can see the green almost in the middle of it coming out to the brown. Really, really beautiful ink. All right, I'm going to stop staring at the page and end this video. Thanks so much, guys. If you could hit like and subscribe. If you've tried any of the other Wizard of Oz inks, can you let me know what you think about them, which ones you love, which ones you aren't for you? Because, um, yeah, I'd love to learn and love to find out. I will speak to you guys tomorrow. See ya.